Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in this book of life here? Is your name in this book of life? Praise the Lord. Welcome to Focus on Rapture. Uh, we've been uh, on a series titled Lamb's Book of Life. Uh, as part of uh, a continuation of the series, today we are going to look at what I call individual records in heaven. We have individual records in heaven. Every human being on earth has a record in heaven. You recall that in our last uh, session, we talked about uh, the books in heaven where records are kept. So if you look at the screen, you see there are three places where books, uh, records are kept in heaven. One is called the Book of Remembrance, the second one called the Books of Judgment, and the third one is the uh, Book of Life. We have already spoken about that. So we will now go on to consider what is happening on earth at any point in time. You see, if you look at the bottom part, is uh, we call it, uh, the bottom part there is hell, and then you have the earth in the middle, and then heaven. Um, when we are born, we are born, um, according to King David, he, he was conceived in sin and born in iniquity. That's a very accurate uh, statement about the status of man. Because our parents, original parents, sinned against God, and they, were, they committed the sin, the, the unpardonable sin, that is uh, disobeying God, and they died, even as God has said. However, all of us were born with that sin nature. And that is why there is a ladder that brings us into the earth. That is birth. When we are born, our born is there. Then we walk through doing various occupations, very, engaging in various things, um, until we get to the end when the body can no longer carry the inner man and then we go. But what really happens um, is that uh, unbelief, some people walk uh, with their face backwards. If you look at this man, you know, the, the, he is walking uh, towards the right, but he's facing backwards. This is an ignorant man. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8, Apostle Paul described him as being darkness. Not in darkness, but being darkness itself. He said, we were once darkness. And then the other man is actually walking towards destruction. He knows he's walking towards destruction and he's going towards destruction. That's him. They are walking briskly. He doesn't care. There are human beings like that. And there are human beings. The multitude of human beings are ignorant. And the Bible says, ignorant of the law is an excuse. Say, my people are ignorant. And because of that, they are destroyed. Now, up there, you see one man struggling to get, of course, the top is heaven, the present heaven. You see a man struggling to get to heaven. And if you look at him closely, you discover that there's a pull, there's a force that is trying to pull him down to earth. He wants to go through the narrow path, very narrow, very, very difficult path. It's not easy to be a Christian. That's what he's saying. This man is determined, he's walking, he's seeing the determination just because he wants to go to heaven. So this is a picture, uh, just a best eye picture of what happens in daily life. The next um, uh, slide will now tell us how it is done. Remember I told you, three places records are kept. The one here uh, is um, record books of uh, judgment. You might told you that um, any sin committed has a book. In uh, Galatians chapter 5, Galatians chapter 5 tells us there are so many, so many sins in, uh, I think, verse 19 or so, that tells us each one of these represents sin. For instance, this one could be lasciviousness, this one could be fornication, this could be lying. So any book, any, any sin has a book. And anybody whose name is in that book will find it in the person's individual record. Then on this side, you can see this, this, this one is good. They are the ones that are written in the books of remembrance. So whether a sinner or a saint, they are good works can be written in the book of remembrance. But in the middle here is supposed to be the domain of the Son of God. But what you see here is that it is blank. So this is typically, well, let me say it is blank, but we know that somebody is there 
a demon is in charge. But for purposes of this uh, um, uh, illustration, the, the, the hypostatic chief is not there. And this is a picture of an unbeliever who has a lot of sins and a lot of good works. Oh, he does a lot of benevolence. But <laughs> that is there. If he dies in this state, obviously, all these good works are useless, nothing. And then he will, of course, miss heaven. The next um, slide will show us a Christian who is struggling to you know, be a good Christian. He has sins which are not yet forgiven. And then the problem with Christians is that the sins, most of the sins that are not forgiven with Christians is because they don't know that those things are sins. That's it. When a Christian sins, and it's obvious to that person that they are sins, and you go to the Lord in prayer, he or she is forgiven. And the blood of Jesus will wipe it away. But the problem is that most people don't know that they are committing sin, even when they are doing that. So, this guy uh, has the hypostatic chip, which is moving from stage to stage, from age to age, and then he has good works. Now, if this Christian dies in this state, obviously, we'll miss it. the hypostatic chip will be withdrawn by the Holy Spirit. The sins will be used to judge the person. And of course, the works will be useless. They, they, they won't even be reckoned with at all. Then, in the next slide, we will see a Christian. He has the image of God in him or her. He has no sin. You can see this place is clean. All his sins are forgiven. But he has no works. <laughs> and there are people like that. They want to live the, you know, sanctified life, holy life, righteous life. But you see, they don't believe in works. The truth of the matter is that it is grace that will take you to heaven, but it is works that will determine the place you will be in heaven, not grace alone. So it is grace and work that will determine your place in eternity. The next uh, slide is um, a Christian now. This is a good Christian. He is living the Christ life. There is no sin. So it's the, the blood of Jesus has wiped out everything here. And he has works. Now let me tell you what will happen to this. Why are there works? Why are they written here? When a Christian does something that is in his destiny, something that is contained in the hypostatic chip, it doesn't show either in the book of remembrance or the books of judgment. But it goes to improve the transformation of that Christian into Christ-likeness. And it is in the mood where it happens. So the, the, the maturity of a Christian is to the extent that the things he does, he or she does, are in line with what God has programmed in, part, in the ages past through the hypostatic chief. And that is why obedience to the word of God is crucial. The Bible tells us that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So people lead themselves and do good things. This is where they are. And these ones will be subjected to fire judgment. We're going to talk about that in another session. They will be subjected to know the motive behind them. So no matter what you do that is not in line with God's plan for you, it will, it will be subjected to fire. However, if it's subjected to fire and it is approved, you will get a reward. Jesus said, I'm coming quickly. My reward is with you. That's what he means by reward. It is among the world, don't you? Because what they are doing here will really position you in the place that was planned for you before the foundation of the earth. And this is where we bring the teaching today to an end. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to seeing you next time. God bless you. Is your name in this book of life? Is your name in this book of life here?